Sitaram, a pleasant good morning. You are looking at Rajaya TV program, and I am your host, Nisha Sharma. And of course, Maharajadev Mandir proudly presents Rajaya that comes to you every Saturday morning right here on Shex TV. This program of Rajaya would like to dedicate it to my sister in law, Angie, as she celebrates her birthday today. So, Angie, on behalf of the crew at Rajaya, as well as all the devotees and management, of Maharujadev Mandir, we want to extend a very happy birthday to you. May Hanumanji bless you with happiness always. And uh, we dedicate this entire segment of Rudraya to you. We'll now join our spiritual leader, Pandit Ravi Sharma, for our kata. Enjoy. Oh. शुक्लां भद्रं विष्णुं शशिवरनं चतुर भुजं प्रसन्नवरनं ध्यायत सर्वेग्नोपशान्ते ओम शांति 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 Devotees, this, each and every one of us, we all make offerings uh, towards the Divine uh, in many different manner. And some will ask uh, uh, what is considered as the best offering that we can offer towards the Lord. Uh. Is it the flowers that Kavabhai have offered? Certainly. Is it the prasad that the devotee has offered? Is it the arati that we come and wave in front of the Lord? Uh? Is the various puja, the yagnas, that perform in the name of the Lord? What constitutes, is it a milk that we have offered towards the Lord? What is called or considered as the best offering? Bhagavad Gita gives us a very beautiful answer and tells us about what is called as confidential knowledge. In chapter 9, verse 26, which is a common verse uh, that I'm sure everyone knows about. that the Lord states, uh, indeed, that He accepts uh, all that the devotee will offer. Patram Pushram Phalam Toyam. We all know that Patram itself leaves. Uh, 
पत्रम पुष्पम पुष्पम मीन्स फ्लावर्स तमी वॉफर फलम फलम मीन्स फ्रूट एंड तोयम तोयम मीन्स द वॉटर इन दीड वन ही और शी हु इज फॉर्चुनेट जस्ट टू ऑफर दीज ऑफरिंग्स ऑन टू मी आई बिकम प्लीज स्टिल और स्ट्रेंज एज इट मे सीम इन स्पाइट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दीज दैट वी ऑफर Adi Bhoti, I told me once, Simon Pooja, when I said, "Well, where is the perfume that you're going to offer?" She pulled out the most expensive perfume. She said, "Pooja, you know what's the price of this?" I said, "I don't know." She said, "Well, only a few hundred dollars US." But she said she's using this to please the Lord. I said, "Good, whatever you can afford, by all means, you go right ahead." So strange that it may seem, that the most valuable asset that we can offer. It is stated that what the Lord has done for us, what can we truly offer unto us, the Lord? So the best thing that we can offer, scriptures and assembly indicated, is that you should offer yourself first. Yagya is called as offering, offering oneself. In the end, we offer ourselves in service towards the Lord. Men, our scripture speaks about many different devotees who understood this concept. It is stated that Shabri, we know Shabri, the beautiful Shabri who waited her entire life, just waiting for the advent of the Lord. राम जी आएंगे लक्ष्मण आएंगे राम जी आए
Shabari, but she became quite advanced in age. Raman tells us beautiful the Katha. In the end, she offered herself towards the Lord. This is a time of holy. Bhakta Prahalada, the devotee of the Lord. He also remembered the Lord. As a little child in the womb of his mother, all he was here, even though he was born in the lineage of Rakshas. All he was saying was the holy name of God. Shri Manarayana Bhagavan Narayana Shri Manarayana Bhagavan Narayana Shri Manarayana child he also offered himself towards the lord for he understood that this was called as the highest offering that one can offer towards the lord although many came and tried to torment him i hope you've enjoyed this morning's katha and like i said at the beginning of the show this entire program is dedicated to my dear sister-in-law angie as she celebrates her birthday today so, of course, and tomorrow, celebrations continue at Maharujadev Mandir. We cordially invite you to come celebrate holy with us at the Mandir from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Tickets are only $5, and there will be a host of youth singers from the GCA. So please be sure to bring the children and come out and celebrate holy with us. We'll now join our sponsors for some messages. 
If you are looking to buy, sell, rent, or invest in real estate, look no further. Terry Diaram, your number one sales representative. Terry comes with a wealth of experience and a proven record in providing complete real estate solutions. Terry offers flexible commercial rates for sellers and is committed to providing the highest level of service to his clients. Call Terry now for a free consultation at 416-890-1005 or visit his website at www.royalcanadianrealty.com. My dear viewers, Rudraya is proud to present a corporate segment that we are adding, adding to the program today. As of today and for the next few weeks, we will be introducing a corporate segment and we are very happy to be, happy to be partnered with Swapna Chari, who is going to be the host of the corporate segment. So Swapna, on behalf of Maharajadev Mandir, as well as the crew at Rudraya, we welcome you to Rudraya TV program and we look forward to this partnership over the next couple of months. I'd like to present to you Swapna Chari for our corporate segment. Good morning, everyone. Namaste. Welcome to Rudraya TV program. This is Swapna here. I'm the real estate broker at Home Life Galaxy Real Estate Limited Brokerage. Welcome to this week's real estate update. Um, if you have any questions, you can reach me at 416-888-9492. You can also contact me on Facebook. You can find me at Swap Team, S W A P T E. AM. Hi, uh, in today's uh, real estate update, we are going to have a look at what you should look for when you're buying a home. Uh, as per CMHC, it doesn't matter whether you're looking for a house to live in or whether you're looking for investment purposes. There is a list of things that you should pay attention to. One is the electrical system. If this electrical system is 60 amps, it's a very old system and the insurance company will ask you to change it at the earliest. If you are uh, uh, having an electrical panel with 100 amps or 200 amps, that's an upgraded system. The next thing that you should look for is plumbing. If it's copper or PVC, it's the latest system. If the house has lead pipes, then that's a very old system and needs to be upgraded at the earliest. Similarly, look for the windows. If the windows have a single pane, it will not be energy efficient. So you will have to change the windows to the latest system at the earliest. The other thing that you should look for is the roof of the house. The normal age of the roof is about 15 to 25 years. Look for water stains in the topmost floor of the house. If there are any water stains on the ceiling of that house, that means the roof is having a leakage and needs to be fixed at the earliest. The next thing that you should look for is the flooring. Normally, the flooring needs to be um, refinished every few years and refinishing is pretty inexpensive um, and it's always easier to uh, get the floor refinished when the house is empty rather than when the rooms are occupied. Uh, the next thing that you should look for is the heating system. Natural gas is the most um, uh, least expensive option but it is not available in many places in Canada. If you have oil um, or electricity as the source of, um, uh, as the source of heating, they are more expensive, especially for a house where when it has baseboard heaters. Uh, the other thing that you should look for is the deck and the porch of the house. If you see any rotting wood, it needs to be replaced. So these are some of the important points that you need to look at. Hire a home inspector. They can do a thorough home inspection and tell you if anything needs to be changed. Thank you. Thank you for watching this week's market update. Next week we will get back to you and we will discuss about what a real estate agent can do for you when you are buying a home. Alternatively, if you are looking to uh, buy properties or if you are looking to sell your home, please do not hesitate to call me. My number is 416-888-9492. You can also visit my website at www.swapteam.com. S W A P T E A M dot C A. Thank you. www.swapteam.ca. If you are looking to buy, sell, rent, or invest in real estate, look no further. 
Terry Diaram, your number one sales representative. Terry comes with a wealth of experience and a proven record in providing complete real estate solutions. Terry offers flexible commercial rates for sellers and is committed to providing the highest level of service to his clients. Call Terry now for a free consultation at 416-890-1005 or visit his website at www.royalcanadianrealty.com. My dear viewers, we've come to the health segment of Rudraya. We'll now join Dr. Ramki soon for one of his health topics. Enjoy. Sitaram and welcome to Health Corner. I am Dr. Sachin Ramkasoon, and today is our fourth episode in our series on mental illness. Today we are discussing anxiety disorder. Anxiety disorder is an often debilitating mental condition that affects about one in every 10 people. It is twice as common in females as compared to males, and actually varies based on geography. In Europe, Africa, and Asia, the rates are lower, but in North America, the rates of anxiety disorder are much higher, often affecting one in three people. There are many theories for this, but it may be due to higher levels of stress, different coping mechanisms, and how different cultures interpret anxiety and what is considered normal. It is very normal to feel anxious from time to time, especially when experiencing increased stress in your life. However, Excessive anxiety and worrying that becomes difficult to control and starts to interfere with your daily life is abnormal. Some of the symptoms of anxiety disorder include persistent worrying and feeling anxious that is out of proportion to the event, overthinking plans or being fixated on worst case outcomes, perceiving situations as a threat even when they are not, inability to let go of a worry, always feeling keyed up or on edge, or difficulty concentrating because of the excessive worrying. Sometimes this anxiety disorder can lead to panic attacks, which are brief but severe episodes of worrying that makes you feel like you may die or that you are having a heart attack. Of course, anxiety is a natural response to certain stressful situations. And so there is a spectrum of what is considered normal and what is abnormal levels of anxiety. Anxiety becomes a disorder when it is excessive, out of proportion, and starts to affect your everyday life. For example, after arriving home and locking your door, you may question if you really did and so go back and check once, which is a natural response. However, if every five minutes you have to go back and check the door to see if it's still locked, this behavior is out of proportion and considered abnormal. Another example is commonly seen in children when doing homework or any task. It is normal to want to do a perfect job, but some people constantly redo or restart the task or homework repeatedly because it is not perfect, to the point that the task is never completed. As with many mental health conditions, anxiety disorder is a combination of genetics, brain chemistry, environment, and emotional development. Interestingly, those with a timid personality who avoids risk and are more introverted may be more prone to anxiety disorders than others. Genetics also plays a role since those with a family history are more likely to develop anxiety disorders. One of the most important causes is life experiences, since many people who have anxiety disorder have suffered a traumatic or a negative experience in the past. This is why anxiety disorders are so common in those that have had panic attacks, phobias, post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, and substance abuse. There's no way to predict who will have anxiety disorder, but the key is early recognition. The treatments involve psychotherapy to train the mind to rationalize its thoughts, exercise, eating healthy, and avoiding smoking or caffeine. Medications may be necessary in extreme cases. One of the best proven treatments for anxiety disorder is meditation and yoga, as this can help alleviate the symptoms of anxiety and prevent it from recurring. I hope this topic is useful to you, as anxiety is more common than most people realize. Thank you for joining with me on Health Corner, and I look forward to continuing our series on mental health next week on Rudraya. 
My dear viewers, we've come to the end of another segment of Rudraya. We'd like to thank you for tuning in with us this morning. Please be reminded that tomorrow we are celebrating Holi at Maharujadev Mandir. So we invite you to come join in the celebrations at 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. And tickets are only $5. It promises to be a great show featuring youths from the GTA. We also like to remind you that next weekend... We begin Navratri celebrations at Maharujadev Mandir. That is on Sunday, March the 18th. And we conclude on Sunday, March the 25th with Sri Ram Naomi celebrations in the morning. And also on the Saturday, which is March 24th, we will be celebrating Durga Ashtami. So please keep th those dates in mind. And of course, like I said, this program has been dedicated to my sister-in-law, Angie, as she celebrates her birthday. So before we close, we would like to dedicate this item to Angie. We'd also like to thank our kind sponsors at Maharujadev Mandir, as well as our executive producer, Gary Khan, for making Rajaya possible. Until we meet again next week, have a blessed week. Namaste. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to my darling. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to my darling. Happy birthday.